Hi, hello, welcome all. So thanks for your support. Uh, if you have a trouble in understanding in English, so you have a Tamil video in my channel. So with the same topic. So today's topic is quite interesting. Uh, what is PLC and how it is going to control the output. Before going to discuss about the topics, I would like to go with a small uh, question sections. Please be honest. After my question, please pass my video and write down the answer in your note or maybe fix the answer in your mind when I'm going to give the answer, whether your answer and my answer is going to be match or not. Okay, so this is my simple question. Suppose in your house, there is a tube light. Suppose when you are going to turn on the switch, suppose if it is not working. So how you will differentiate whether it is working or not. So this is going to be the today's question. Please don't mistake me. Please pass this video and write down the answer in your note or maybe fix the answer in your mind. So when I say the answer, let's see whether it is going to be same. Your answer and my answer is going to be same or not. If you have a problem with the tube light when you switch on if it is not working so what you have to do so you have to take the tube light and you have to check with the multimeter some people will have an answer that you will take the tube light and you will fix in the frame and you will rotate when you rotate so if it is getting on then we will uh, understand okay tube light is working actually that is not a right answer when you go as an engineer you should not say the answers like this you have to say that you have to take multimeter and by using a multimeter we have to check so how we will find out it's very simple you have to take the multimeter and it has to be turned to the continuity mode and when you touch the red and black so you will be getting a small buzzer sound so which means that multimeter is working with the help of the buzzer sound you can understand now you have to take the multimeter and take the red and black terminals and connect it in the one of the end so you'll be having a two terminals in the tube light so touch it then if we have an, a sound in the multimeter then you can understand one side is working properly okay and take the another end and t uh, touch the two terminals then if you are finding a continuity and again you will get a small buzzer sound so that the tubelet is working so the problem may be in a choke or maybe the power problem low voltage or maybe continuity the wiring continuity problems will be there so this is what the interviewer will expect from you so okay so you know well that how to find out the problems but please don't say that i want to take a tube lights and i want to fix in the frame i want to rotate if you say like that you'll be rejected on this part okay so you may be having a questions what for i am asking this silly questions okay so what is the relationship between that industry and this tube light there is a relationship i'll tell you that okay so please uh, listen the topics so what is going to be today's topics what is plc's you know well about that and how it is going to control the output so controlling the output so what are going to be the outputs it's going to be a motor or blower or it all those things are going to be a 230 volt appliance sometimes it may be a three phase motor also okay so how the I mean a 230 volt motors or maybe three phase motors are going to be controlled by this PLCs. Why? Because the PLCs are going to give the output in 24 voltage. So by using a 24 voltage, we cannot able to control the 230 volt motors, right? So might be you'll be having an answer. I'll be uh, amplifying the outputs of 24. So if you are going to amplify the 24 voltage, you cannot able to run the 230 volt or maybe three, four, three phase motors. So 24 voltage is not sufficient to run that. Okay. So then what you have to do? So we have to do the switching okay in our house what we will do we will do a switching if you want to run the fan or if you want to turn on the tube lights or if you want to turn on the pump motors you are going to switch on okay so when you switch on what will happen the supply the continuity will be there because of the continuity the motors are going to run am i right so manually we are forcing the switch so that is switch but now what i'm going to do here i'll be taking the switching device with the help of the switching device i'm going to do the switching okay but the switching device will be controlled by the plc that's it so what is going to be the switching device you know well about the relay so the relay is nothing but a switching device fine so now uh, relay electromechanical switching device simple so you there will be a coil you please see the display there is a coil so when you are going to give the 24 voltage to the coil what will happen the coil will get energized and you can see this there is a small plate it is going to be attracted with the help of uh, the emf 
so because of that the small mechanical movement will be there so you will be having a continuities okay when you go for industries the peoples will tell you so no will become nc nc will become no when i give the 24 voltage to the relay but you peoples uh, easily you cannot able to understand that what exactly happening in the relay okay but i'll tell you little uh, in depth of this so you take a diagram in this diagram there is a coil relay coil okay and you have a three terminals one terminal is called as a common terminal so it is connected to other another another one more terminal it is called as a normally closed terminal okay why it is normally closed initially it is connected that's what it is normally closed another one more terminal is not connected initially so that it is called as a normally open terminal that's it are you clear so they have been named it so that they can able to differentiate it that's it okay so now when i give the 24 voltage to the coil what is going to be happen the emf will generate so the common is going to be attract with the normally open am i right so now when i give the 230 volt to the common where it will come it will come to the normally close am i right yes so when i give the 24 voltage to the coil so because of the emf the common will be attract with the normally open so the 230 volt will pass to the normally open am i right let's see when i'm going to give the 24 voltage to the coil what is going to be happen so when i give the 24 voltage to the coil the common is going to be attract with the normally open so when i give the 230 volt to the common the 230 volt will pass to the normally open terminal are you clear now so this is our general motor you just take example it is in our pump motor in our house okay it may be a fan motor anything so you just uh, assume it so how it is going to run we are going to do the switching is it right so the 230 volt which we will be getting from the electricity board so the neutral will be given to the motor and the phase is going to be controlled so with the help of the switch so whenever you push the switch there will be a continuity then the motor will run am i right so when you switch off so the continuity is going to break and the motor will become off is it right so now when i push there is a going to be a continuity the supply will pass the power is going to reach to the motor then the motor is going to run am i right so when i switch off what will happen the continuity will get break the power supply will get break and the motor will get stop is it right so this is nothing but the manual switching instead of this manual switch i'm going to replace the relay simple okay so here is a manual switch i'm going to replace this with the help of relay that's it so what do you mean by relay the relay is nothing but a switching device are you clear so now the relay has to get activate okay so for that i want to get a source where from where i will be getting a source from the plc from the plc if i want to get the 24 voltage the program has to get work okay so but for the program what exactly we need we need a feedback from the field so the sensor has to give the feedback so when the sensor is giving a feedback the plc will cross verify the program according to the program the plc will give you the 24 voltage output that 24 voltage will comes to the relay the relay will get activate so that what will happen the common will be attract to the normally open now you can see the screen the 230 volt is given to the common terminal the 230 volt is coming to the normally close actually so now there is no continuity because of that there is no power supply to the motor the motor is in off okay so now when i give the 24 voltage to the coil which means the plc is giving output because of the output the coil has been energized now you can see the common has been attracted with the normally open now there is a continuity because of the continuity the motor will run so now in the motor axis if it is connected to the conveyor belt it is going to be a conveyor application if the blower is connected it is going to be a blower application suppose if it is a drilling bit is connected it is going to be a drilling application application may be anything you don't worry about the application so as an engineer our concept that you want to control the output that means the motor okay sometimes what will happen the local operators will come and inform you that the motor is not running so i'm i'm giving a normal input but as like regular it is not giving the output so there is a problem so if this kind of complaint comes to you so now you are the responsible to find out the problems okay and you have to give the solution what is going to be a solution simple you want to run the motor that's it am i right so now how you will identify the problems so how we are going to give the solutions maybe the problem will be neutral wire the wire wire may be get disconnected so you have to find out that maybe the 
to the default phase the phase wire may be disconnected maybe the relay will not work properly okay because of that a spark the welding weld will happen so the relay will never work so you should know that whether we have a problem with the relay or not okay 24 voltage will never come from the plc okay suppose if the plc is not giving the 24 voltage then you should know how to find out the problem why because you know well the plc will give you the output based on the feedback so we have to cross verify the feedback devices that means the sensors so if the sensor is not giving a 24 voltage maybe the problem will be in a i mean continuity so that you have to find out or maybe the sensor we have to give a power source so maybe if you are not giving a proper power source in that case also the sensor will never sense okay so as an engineer you should know to analyze the problems where exactly the problem comes okay so if you are having a capability to find out the problem to find out the problem then you are always welcome that is simple okay so you can't say that suppose if you are the mechanical engineer you can't say that um, the problem is in a maybe the uh, instrumentation departments so i cannot able to cross verify that that is what i told you in the past videos so what is my mission the mission is nothing but a combination of the entire department okay as an engineer you should know to point out the problem in the particular place suppose you may be from the electrical department okay so you should know to point out the problem is in a mechanical or maybe instrumentations so if you could able to point out the problems then you are always welcome okay simple conclusions the problem may come in any points so as an engineer you should know to point out the problems and then you have to run the machineries okay so this is going to be objective when you are going for our industries okay so now if anyone is asking what is maybe plc how it is going to control the motor means now i hope you can able to give a correct answers in a very clear manner okay suppose if they are asking if it is a three phase motor then how you will control the motor in that case you have to tell them that instead of this relay we have to go for a three phase conductor okay so in a market we have a three phase conductor and single phase conductor the motor power rating is going to be very high in that case we have to go for a conductors okay so it's a simple so for a single output or single in input how the wiring will be when you go for a thousands of input output this kind of same wiring will be available so you should know to find out the problems where exactly it is okay i hope this video you understood very clearly if you have any doubt on this particular topic in the some command section please command it so i will try to clear your doubts if it is the first time if you are seeing my video please see all the previous videos at the same time subscribe my channel have a nice day take care see you